everyone, Tracy Evans here, uh, back again with a simple demo for Craft Stash. Again using their It's Your Birthday die and the Bird on a Branch die. If you would like any of their products, they're available at www.craftstash.co.uk. This time around we'll be making this card. Again, simple techniques, simple card. Um, and obviously we're aiming at beginners uh, but obviously you can add on any other elements to make it a little bit more advanced if you like. I began by die cutting the bird on a branch from white card. I then cut a piece of white card four inches by six inches and as you can see I've written down the centimetres here that's 10.1 centimetres by 15.2 centimetres. I'm using Distress Paint Mowed Lawn. If we apply a touch of the paint to the non-stick craft sheet and then bray it over the paint but remove some of the excess and then bray it lightly over the card. We're just looking for a touch of colour. Now obviously there's still quite a bit of paint left which I don't waste. I tend to have another piece of scrap paper or card and I bray that over the scrap card which I can then use for another card or I can die cut other shapes from the card. We then take the aperture that we cut earlier. Uh, obviously I've got the die cut piece which I can use on another card but on this occasion we're actually using the aperture as a stencil. We're then using Salty Ocean, Walnut Stain and Mowed Lawn Distress Inks. I've cut some cut and dry foam, obviously quite sparingly on that one. And then we place the stencil onto the left hand side of the card and I'm aiming for green around the branch and the leaf areas blending the colour and adding layers of colour as we move round. You need to take some time adding the colour, it's not something that you can do in just a couple of seconds. And then I'm adding touches of the walnut stain around the edges of the, of the branch, which you won't see now but you will see once I remove the, the stencil couple of touches of the walnut stain around the leaves. If you add that to the edges it adds layers of colour rather than one flat colour to the stencil. Then add the salty ocean to the flower areas. I could have given myself a little bit more cut and dry foam. Obviously I was feeling a bit mean. And then add the salty ocean to the bird. And I try to add a second layer of the same colour around the edges just to add a bit of definition. And it really defines the edges and sort of gives two layers of colour to the stenciling rather than one flat colour. Go back. And a touch more brown over the leaf and the stem areas. And then if you're unsure, just lift the stencil and I can see that that's fine. I've then die cut the sentiment, um, which is it's your birthday die, and then dab colour to the die cut piece. You could have obviously um, applied colour to the card and then die cut from the card. Or I just want to add a couple of, couple of colours to this. A touch of brown. Sorry if you heard my husband shouting from downstairs. That's what happens when you do a video and sneak upstairs and hope for a bit of peace and quiet. My husband starts shouting and telling me about telephone calls, so sorry about that. 
We then add this die cut piece. Just unblock my glue. like so and then I've used a dot fade stencil just trying to touch more detail I do like to add layers to my designs so just randomly don't think about it too much randomly apply salty ocean distressing through the stencil it's only a subtle touch but it does add another layer of interest to the card. And then I've coloured two further pieces of card with the same distress inks just to, to give a coordinated look and add that with a narrow border each time to the card. And that's it. Thanks very much for popping by. Uh, if you want any more details, you can find those on my blog at www.craftaddicts-tracyevans.blogspot.co.uk. Thanks, bye.